This is the weather forecast video for Friday, April the 27th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, uh, storm system is gathering some energy and some moisture over the plains and into the mountains with some showers and thunderstorms and some of them which became severe last evening over the high plains. And here's the watch warning map a little before midnight last night. Severe thunderstorm watch over Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas. Some winter weather issues over Montana. Some frost and freeze advisories from Minnesota eastward into the Great Lakes in New England. But the QPF chart shows some fairly decent precip totals. This is through Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock. 2.5 inches bullseye at Kansas City with upwards of 1 to maybe an inch and a half over the state of Iowa. So let's take a look at all this rain that will be coming on the Zero-Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. There's the Peace Energy over Kansas and an upper level feature further to the north and west of that. At the surface, a low pressure oh, somewhere near mm, Dodge City, Kansas. Showers will be moving in from west to east during the day today. The eastern counties may see a bit of sunshine early before clouds stream in. Saturday, it's just going to be bleh. Just a cloudy, dreary day. Rain may end in the southwestern counties, but it is going to just stay cold in the 50s, maybe 40s. Sunday will be probably the best day of the weekend, although there could be some scattered clouds around with some moisture still off to our west and mainly to our south. But readings don't really warm back up that much. They start to warm up here on Monday with a warm front that will be coming through, but with that comes more showers and thunderstorms as readings bump up back into the 60s and even some 70s and by Tuesday it's going to be at least in the 70s across the state with some chances of showers and storms almost every day next week mainly afternoon maybe evening late night in the morning it's really hard to pinpoint here even here on Wednesday you can see some showers and storms possible and into Thursday, it looks like it'll clear through, but you can still see some in Missouri. So we really can't rule out that there still could be some shower activity on Thursday either. And heading a week from today, we still have a zonal flow with a bit of a ridge over the desert southwest into Texas. And a very broad trough over New England up into eastern Canada. And again, here is more shower activity possible so it looks like all next week is going to be uh rain chances galore we'll have to say a couple days later on the 7th of may you know, wavy pattern an upper level feature over new england a bit of a ridge over south and a trough over a little bit of a trough over the northwest and again storm over new england there could be an MCS, at least this is being depicted here over South Dakota and Nebraska, so it's really hard to pinpoint anything like that this far out. The end of the forecast on May 12th, a bit of a trough over New England with another one of these systems off the coast of Nova Scotia, and pretty zonal to a ridge over the south and west, and again, it's too hard to pinpoint any mesoscale features when there's no real storm systems around so it's getting diff more and more difficult to really pinpoint storms later as we go along so thank you for tuning into the weather forecast video we'll have another one on saturday